Good morning everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Diara, I am a card reader from Germany. I do upload both in English and German, just for you to know, for the ones who just found me. So please subscribe to my channel, please help me with the algorithm if I may ask you to do so. I'm not asking you to pay me or to, you know, like gift me something or to donate. It's just like a simple push on the right button that will help me a lot and this is why I keep on doing what I'm doing for free here on YouTube okay this is a timeless reading this is a love reading one of the most favorites one I would say we are trying to pick up some energies how they act versus how they really feel okay there will be two parts to choose from this is going to be part number one and this is going to be pile number two. The timestamps will be uh, down in the description box. And if you ever want a personal reading, then feel free to contact me, okay? I am available. I've been gone for a little bit. I treated myself with a extended vacation, three weeks. Um, but now I am back and offering the regular readings again, as I used to. Okay, so having said this, uh, I think you've made your choice. If not, feel free to push uh, the pause button. Otherwise, um, yeah, let's get started with pile number one. Pile number one. How they act versus how they truly feel, like deep down inside. Are they hiding something? What do we need to know? So. Let's get started. Think about your person and that could be anyone like from your crush, your husband, your ex-partner, your soulmate, uh, to your boss, your brother, your daddy. So whoever you have in mind, um, let's check it out. How do they feel with this? How do they act? Or let's, you know, like do it the other way around because it makes way more sense. So this is what you see from them, okay? How they act, how do they treat you? Um, and this is how they truly feel for you. What is hidden, okay? Let's get started. Are you ready, guys? Let's go. So, how do they treat you? Okay, Whoo! this is the devil card, which is all about dark energies. Um, I mean, you may have a very conflicted relationship with this person, like right off the bat, uh, the devil, I think we all agree, this is talking about toxic energies, this is talking about abuse, I'm sorry, but this is what it is. Um, it's talking about something that's unhealthy. It could also be about um, temptations, seduction, betrayal, lying. Um, obviously, this person is hiding something from you. They probably don't want you to know how they feel at all. So I don't know whether we get a lot out of them, uh, but this is the very first card, okay? So this is how they treat you. Maybe they have shown you their boundaries. Maybe you showed them yours. Um, maybe you have something going on like for a long, long, long time. Maybe this is something karmic. Maybe you guys know each other already from a different lifeline, you know, a different life. So who knows? What else? How do they treat you? I think there is a constant on and off going on between you guys. Um, so we have the devil. This is the knight of coins in reverse. And this is the ten of cups. So I think this is an up and down relationship. Okay, sometimes you guys are in heaven and then two days after, they treat you as if they don't know you. Like they ghost you, they don't text you back, they don't answer your calls, right? Um, this is what I see. So let's see. And if you resonate, if you feel like, yeah, this is totally our relationship. This is so him or her. This is exactly where we're at. Like a lot of up and down going on, a lot of on and off going on then this is for sure your pile, right? So let's have a look now. And this is probably even more important and interesting. Um, how do they really feel? Seven of Cups. 
This person has options. I have to tell you that. Pile number one people, you have to know that this person is undecisive. They have not yet made up their mind whether they want it or not with you. Uh, and they have options. Seven of Cups is, you know, like if anything, then it talks about having options. You know, there is a huge variety. This person is standing like in a supermarket, you know, like you can buy it all, right? Or nothing at all. It depends on you. And even if you're like, okay, I just want to get some orange juice. Let me get some orange juice. I love orange juice. I mean, it's not that there is only one orange juice. You can, I don't know, like maybe 20 different types of orange juice in the house. And this is where this person's at. This is how they truly feel. And you have to know this, pile number one. Yes. Yes, this is probably a bitter pill to swallow. They have probably told you different, like you're the only one and I only want you. But the truth is, this person has options and they have not yet made up their mind to a 100% whether they're in or not with you. Are they down? They don't know themselves. Get help from friends, codependency card and past relation. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've been here, right? I told you. I'm pretty sure you guys know each other already from a different lifestyle, a different life time. I'm sorry. Um, and this is why it feels so intense. This is part of the story, right? If you meet someone and you feel like you know this person you don't know them right you just met them but it feels so intense it feels so intimate right away like when you guys talk when you guys are together maybe even when you sleep with each other when you touch you know when you kiss it feels like yeah this is the one this is the one you know like i've been waiting for all my life um, but there's a lot of toxicity in this relationship. You have to know this. We have the codependency card, right? So there are definitely some negative influences in the house, right? We saw it with the devil card. And yeah, get help from friends. Maybe you you talk about this relationship a lot with your friends and your friends are trying to help you a lot with it because they see it is very complicated it is very complex so let's probably shift this and ask about the future okay so this is where we at we're talking about someone who's very undecisive who has not yet made up their mind which is okay i mean sometimes you have to give people space and time so they can find out what they really, really want, right? That's okay. I mean, you can't blame someone. Sometimes, yes, we fall in love with each other and it's mutual right away. Like, wow, love at first sight. But sometimes people need a little bit longer. Maybe this person is coming from a certain situation. Maybe they've just been through divorce or they just moved from one place to another. Or maybe this person has a lot other stuff on their plate maybe they have to take care for their mommy or daddy because there is some disease going on or just mom and dad are at a certain age and they have to handle it so seeing cards like codependency the devil and stuff seven of cups and stuff it's not necessarily a pure bad thing sometimes yes sometimes it is if you're dealing with a narcissist i mean come on get the hell away from this person, right? And you know it. You don't need me to tell you this. But sometimes having a lot of things to deal with, having a lot on the plate, it can be, let's just say this person just moved to where you live and they are coming from a different country, maybe a different continent even, and now they have to deal with language and job issues and just getting settled, you know, in a new place is a lot. Right? Um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is what I see. So I'm not saying this person is bad, you know, like they are, this is a bad person. Get away from them. I'm just saying that this person, they have a lot of different things to deal with right now. And to say the least, this person doesn't know themselves right now, whether they are ready for a relationship right now at this certain point in their life or not okay 
So what about the future then? What do we need to know about the future and future tendencies? <clears throat> you know that energy can change and this is not, you know, like set in stone, whatever comes up now. But just to get a little bit of a tendency, what do we need to know about the future potential between you and this person? The emperor, seven of coins and... Ooh, the Empress. This relationship has potential for sure. Yeah. So I know it started quite bad <laughs> with the devil to be the very first card, but it's getting better. Okay. I see, uh, develop, you know, like I see potential. I definitely see potential. I mean, we have him here as the Emperor. They will get their shit together. And this is you as the Empress. So this is it. This is, you know, like King and Queen united um it needs what it needs people pile number one people it needs time seven of coins is it needs time let's say i feel like seven months at least okay seven months it needs time it needs a lot of patient um patience i'm sorry but it's worth working on it i feel like it's worth working on this relationship and yeah Ace of Cups. And as I said, sometimes people, they just need time. Maybe this is a Virgo. Like Virgo, you know, energy is not, you know, like per se a slow energy. But some people, some archetypes, they fall in love quite quickly and others don't. So I don't know who you're dealing with, but this person belongs to the second group, okay? They need time to really open up and to fall in love, but they can, right? The Ace of Cups is a beautiful card to get in a love reading, maybe even the most beautiful card that you could get. And this is the Three of Coins, which is also um, a card that speaks about acceleration. It speaks about the next level. It speaks about engagement making something official and so on and so far. I think you get the point. So um, don't give up. I know it started quite negative and of course once again you have to you know best whom you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a toxic person, if this is a relationship that is abusive or whatever, once again, you must see that you get away from it as soon as you can. But if this is probably just someone who has a lot of different things on their plate right now, then I would definitely go for, yeah, give it a shot. Don't give up too soon because it's worth it. Final cards. Yeah, here we go. Give your relation a chance. As I said, work on your relationship. I kind of knew that this card would pop up. And this is, again, the patience card combined with trust. What needed here in this relation is... You have to have patience, right? Eight of coins, I told you that before. And you have to believe. Believe that something great can evolve from it. No matter where you're at right now, maybe you live in two different parts of the world, like 12 hours flight time or whatever, you know, maybe there is a huge cultural difference between you, maybe age difference or whatever kind of gap there is. A lot of obstacles, so to say, to overcome. But it's worth it, okay? It's worth it. And yes, you can make it, pile number one. So this is encouragement for you. Oh my God, bottom of the deck, we have the soulmate card. Come on, I mean, hey. So what else do you need? Nothing. This is it. There is potential. And if you don't give up too soon, you guys can make it to the other side, so to say, right? Um, definitely. So... Wow, this turned into something so beautiful. Um, and yeah, sometimes this is what it is. Good things can happen when we believe. And when we are, you know, persistent and loving and gentle with ourselves and others, if we have enough compassion with where other people are at, if we give them time and space, yes, this relationship definitely has potential okay having said this i think i leave it here you guys don't forget to share like and subscribe i see you with the next reading peace out and namaste okay so the light is a little bit bad i feel but i hope you can still enjoy the reading so let's step over to pile number two which is this here 
if you have chosen the second pile, let's see where we're at right now. Where are we with this person? What are they showing to you? How do they talk to you? How do they treat you? <clears throat> what do we need to know? So when I talk about these first cards, this is a good opportunity for you to see whether you resonate or not. Because if I say something and you're like, what? This is so not my relationship with this person, then chances are that this is not your reading. Remember, this is YouTube, right? This is entertainment. This is not a personal reading and for a lot of different people all around the world. So um, take what's yours and leave the rest behind, okay? So how do they treat you right now? Eight of Wands. Could be that you just met this person, okay? Could be that this is a pretty fresh relationship. It could also be that there is a lot of passion and fire in the field. Eight of Wands is all about action. It's all about being active. It's all about being compassionate. And not compassionate, I mean, maybe even compassionate. But what I really wanted to say, honestly saying, is um, passion. There's a lot of passion and fire in the house. Um, and this is how they treat you. Maybe you guys have awesome conversations. This is the Ten of Cups. Maybe they told you right away that, whoo, like you overwhelm me. I'm excited. I've never met someone like you. So I see, this is actually um, the opposite of what we had when we started pile number one. Although pile number one turned into a beautiful message. Um, so I think this is a loving relationship and uh, very mature you guys are willing, definitely see the willingness here. So, yeah, and this is it. I mean, we, if, if we want to build up a relationship, we have to be able, ready and willing, right? If one of the three key components is missing, it's not going to happen. And I see it here. I see the readiness. I see the willingness and I see the ability to build up from scratch. And for what reason ever, I don't know, I feel like this is quite a new relationship i don't feel that you guys know each other already maybe yes you know each other just from seeing or hearing but you have just you know like came to a plateau where you truly get to know each other this is what i feel so if you resonate with it if this is a quite a loving person very attentive um you know like just nice relationship um this is you okay this is how they treat you um the only thing is that maybe if we want to say something critical about it it could be that you have not yet reached a really deeper stage yet maybe because it's just too early right maybe right now you guys talk yes but it's more like small talk things you know you have not yet reached a level where you reveal each other your deepest <laughs> feelings and wounds and you know scars and stuff which is okay i mean we have to start at a point and we start lighthearted this is where most of the people prefer to start. And then, you know, like all the dark shit from the past and stuff, you can talk about that later. Um, so how do they feel for you? How does, and this is probably even more interesting. Um, how does this person feel for you deep down inside? Wow, the Ace of Cups. Yes, they have true feelings, pile number two. They do have true feelings for you. Definitely. The Ace of Cups, I mean, this is probably the best card to get when we do a love reading. It talks about opportunities, possibilities, chances. So I do definitely see big potential here for you and them. Um, you may only be at the beginning. You may have not yet had those deep conversations until 3 o'clock in the morning and stuff, you know, but still... The potential is there. The willingness is there. What else? How do they feel you? They have certain expectations though, right? Um, this person has, yeah, 
expectations, not just when it comes to you, but generally they have high standards when we talk about relationships in general, but maybe also like when it comes to job and stuff, this person has high standards, okay? You have to know this, but they love to take it from here with you. We have the laughter card, we have the giving card. This is a very generous person, right? They are definitely willing to give it a shot with you, to say the least. Right? I want to keep this realistic. I'm not saying, oh, this person loves you. Like, I mean, if this is a person that you just met like three days ago, we have to keep it realistic, right? But um, the willingness is there and the passion is there. Yeah, very great cards. The laughter cards, they enjoy being with you. They kind of just like you, right? They feel good when they are surrounded with you. They know that you are, you have a shiny um, personality, I'm sorry. You maybe are a fire sign and they appreciate the fire that you carry and the passion that you have, right? Um, this is the uh, passionate, yeah, the passion card, right? You see naked people here having fun, jumping into the water and stuff. So again, summer, fire, you know? Uh, light-hearted energy which is what they appreciate and then we see here the receive card I feel like this person feels that you both could be very nourishing for each other it's not that just they want to give something to you or you are giving something to them I see exchange okay which is awesome this is actually where we want to be with someone right a relationship, a healthy relationship, always have to be on eye level, right? What else? Potential for the future. What's the potential for the future? When we talk about you and them, and we do see that they like you. They like your ways, they like the way how you laugh and stuff. So what is the potential? So far it sounds great. Let's see what we get. Let's talk about the future tendencies. You and them. Who? The magic card. I love it. Yeah, I see. I feel like this is a situation where spirit is trying to help you guys to make the best out of it. The magic card. I mean, it can mean anything, right? Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say about it. I feel drawn to so many different things here. First of all, the waterfall, which is nature, which is like a lot of flowing energies and flow in itself. When you guys are together, you feel like you are in flow and also feelings. Water always represents feelings and emotions. Then I feel drawn to... Um, number 21 and i don't know why but 21 and tarot would be the world so it could talk about traveling the world with this person or maybe you met this person while you were traveling maybe they live in a different part of the world but still i feel you guys are trying to make it happen yeah we see the passion card at the bottom of the deck again it came out before just in a different deck so a lot of passion and yeah, conversations from heart to heart. I feel like the next step is about getting deeper. Once again, I feel like you started on a quite superficial level, which is just normal and good. So this is no offense, right? You started by, you know, like being kind to each other, showing yourself in your best suit, so to say, in the beginning. And now Spirit is giving you permission to take it to the next level, to talk about your pain and your past and what hurts you and look at this bottom of the deck this could be the one oh my gosh i mean really you guys um could be that this is the one and even if this is a business related um connection and i really want to point that out one more time i said it in the beginning and i want to come back to it now because i kind of feel it um this could be someone you guys could work together very very well maybe you will build like a new company, a new heritage. I don't know how to say it, but it's really like a golden opportunity. You having met this person and vice versa, by the way, really meant something. It happened for a reason. This was not just a just like that relationship. You know, this can turn into something, wow, something great. 
Ooh, awesome. Great spirit in the house today. Please don't forget to share, like, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you so much for doing so. Or if you have it already, have done it already, thank you so much for being part of my community. Um, what else do we need to know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the last card. I don't want to pull any more cards. I don't want to destroy the energy here because these cards, they are awesome, pile number two. And I think you feel it yourself. This is something special. This is a very deep connection. You guys can make it very, very far. So please handle this connection with care and love, right? And compassion. Be gentle with yourselves. Give yourselves all the time and the space that you both need. Um, I feel like two very mature people have come together, have been brought together by spirit. And there is a lot that is possible here. So this can turn into a big, big, big success for both of you. So whew, I leave it here, you guys. Thank you so much. Leave a comment. Contact me whenever you need a personal reading. I am here. I'm back again. Peace out and Namaste.